Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, to you. Happy birthday to you, Amanda. Happy birthday to you. Beautiful. I mean, I just think that cities can be just as beautiful as nature. Oh yeah. I mean that. Coffee you ever had? I know. This one's so bitter. It's Hodge. <laughs> Live in stereo on the internet. Super personal. Okay, we still look cute. I think I don't know what I look like. Your makeup holds up well. It's green. Oh yeah. Your hair, yes. We put that in. It sure does stay in place. Let's go. is a mess um it's been a mess for about a week <laughs> but i wanted to show you guys what i got real quick because i didn't film any of it just because like you know that might be kind of weird to like bust out a camera in a store this really cool denim jacket that i don't really have anything like it i own two leather i, I own two denim jackets um they're both like pretty dark this is a really light wash um it's got like this cool like frayed out hem on the bottom and then it has like these flower details on the shoulders and I really like the denim on denim look, so I can like wear this with other denim, <laughs> like dark denim that I own, because the other two pairs I have, like the other two um, denim jackets I have, I can't wear them with like my dark denim, and I own a lot of dark denim, so. Then from American Eagle, because I had a coupon, um, I got these jeans on sale. I'm in a six short, um, and I can only wear their high-waisted mom jeans, so finding a six short mom jean was like a miracle, like those are usually not in stores. So they just have these really pretty appliques, and whoever tried them on last left them cuffed, so I might leave them like that, or just wear them long, but they have that kind of a frayed hem. They've got a couple of rips up here that are, like, intentional, so I just thought they were really pretty. I've never owned, like, applique jeans before, so these would be really cute. I might wear them with the cacti, just to be, like, you know, all, um, flower and plant life. And then I also got this, like, cropped sweatshirt that just says Los Angeles, California on it. Um, you know... Casual Dark Artifices reference, um, but also it's really soft and really comfortable and it was like $10. I mostly got stuff that I needed from Ulta because like, you know, my press powder and my setting spray because I'm running low on both. So I was like, hey, you know, carpe diem, just get it when you're at Ulta. And then I got two foundations that I want to try just because like the foundation I wear right now is really great, but it's definitely for people with really, really oily skin, which I usually have like 90% of the time. But right now, for some reason, my skin is like really, it's not moist and it's not whatever, but like my makeup flakes off. So, um, so I got another foundation to try. It's the Tarte Shape Tape Matte Foundation. Um, we'll see. And then I got this like um, full coverage moisturizer by IT Cosmetics that's like a BB cream but with more coverage and that's for days I want to have like an all-natural look. My battery's gonna die so I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna try to clean this room up after dinner and we're also gonna watch Shadow Hunters. Yesterday was really, really nice, and then today is just like <laughs> gross. And I really need to get a car tripod because I always am driving, it seems like. So having that would really help me. <laughs> I'm going to church to, uh, to serve. I teach Sunday school to first and second graders. Today's like today when I'm just like fresh out of energy. 
um, teaching kids is like um, a lot and it's sometimes difficult to find the requisite energy to, um, to be the teacher that they need. But um, it's also really rewarding, so um, which is why I do it. I'm wearing my new jacket, my new sweater. Um, I'm also wearing the CC Cream Foundation, the It Cosmetics stuff. I'm not wearing anything else that's different, so I want to see how well it wears because um, if it, it looks really good right now, but if it doesn't stay on all day, um, it's not really worth much. And this is like a typical day for me, um, just in terms of amount of activity. Obviously I don't go to church every day, but in terms of like amount of activity, it's pretty good. My parents will be home till 12. My sister's working today. So for the most of the day, I'm gonna have people in the house, but I like to enjoy the like hour or so where like my parents aren't home <laughs> and I can just like, you know, get stuff done, uh, laundry. I'll probably work out even though my legs are killing me from Friday's workout. Uh, so yeah, that's what's new. Target right now because I was gonna go to Walmart for socks but then I got a coupon in my email for Target I was like hey I'm gonna go to Target so I'm being a basic white girl right now <laughs> I got some money as you guys saw and so I kind of want to spend some of that on like stationery because believe it or not I've actually I'm actually running low on stationery I might try to find a case for this camera because throwing it in my backpack without a case is starting to give me anxiety um, I don't know, I just want to find something nice, like, just to treat myself with. Go see my sister at work. Cause, like, what else do you do on Sunday? Plus, I feel bad she has to work. Let's go. In case anyone was wondering how my day is going, this is my absolute favorite character on The 100 and she got featured and I'm so happy. My mom and I are going to make crepes now, so I'm going to change out of this white shirt. And um, I left all my windows open because it's really warm. It's like 72, but I'm so hot. And I also lost my lens cap, but I've actually, my room has devolved into more chaos. I cleared off this rack because I want to display like my more spring fashion. So all of these are laying here. I have laundry that I need to put away and then just like a pile of crap. Twice for now. Is that what you're doing, Haji? I, it's not really moving. I think oh. It's like a book, or it's got like food in it, or something to fake me out. I forgot I asked for these. But you're right. It doesn't work. Oh my gosh! I'm so happy. Let me look at them. No, to see them. Oh. And you're right. Oregano. Mmm, <laughs> they smell fresh. They're in. Wait, are these real leather? Probably from the oregano that's in there. The craft. The craft on it. So I was like, in the bed. This is just my pile of, this could be worse. At least there's cut on it. I don't know, I was like, like the angle that I got so made nice. it look worse than it was, and I was like, okay. Ooh, yes! Yeah, boy! Mm -hmm. Finally, Yay. I'm so excited. Mama didn't raise no fool. She may have raised someone who can't interact with others, but she didn't raise Did no you fool. take a still picture with it sticking out towards you, the happy birthday, so we know it's your birthday? Oh, well, let's anger then. Why would I have done that? I'm asking you two for the calendar. Okay. Ready? You have to kick in now. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Amanda. Happy birthday to you. 
Now I take a picture. And now one more reprise just for Eric. <laughs> we're taking a casual stoplight selfie. No, we're, this is video. We're, <laughs> we're going, it's it's casually like 9.30 at night and we're driving to Target because we are basic white girls. But not even the Target that is ours for only Target. It's a different Target. It's a foreign Target. So we're good. We go to Target for me. I don't get anything. She has. She has this shelf. Interior design. She has a shelf. I hope that wood's treated though. She has. Buckle your child in. Not even a child. What the heck? Yeah, let's talk about it later. <laughs> oh, this is working as a desk organizer? Well, you want to tell me how this is desk sized? Gonna be gone all day at class at school and then at my internship until like midnight i kind of always get a little bit nostalgic if that's the right word or intro introspective maybe is a better word near my birthday but this is like a big one for me and i didn't really even think about it until like i conceived of the fact that i'm not going to be a teenager anymore um which doesn't seem like a big deal to some people but it's just really weird to me because like i definitely live my life in phases and I remember like clear as day being 12 and like dying to turn 13 and be a teenager. 12 was a really sucky year for me. Um, but also just because like being a teenager was like, that's the phase where everything happens. That's when you go to high school, it's when you go to college um, and all that stuff. And so I thought, you know, being 13 was gonna be like the key to it all. And now I'm leaving the teenage years and turning 20 and it's like further impressed upon me how little I know and how little I've done. And I think it's also coupled with the fact that I'm graduating college in December. So it's like, you know, after I graduate college, like I will never again have time to experience the things I want to experience. And there's so much that I haven't done. Um, and it frustrates me that I haven't done it, but.